Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI and that is, there's never been a bigger article ever on that topic than this one. Get ready to have your friggin' mind blown. Cyborg computer with living brain organoid ACEs machine learning test. Do I have your attention? This comes from a paper in Nature Electronics out of Indiana University. Tiny brain-like organoid out of human stem cells hooked it up to a computer and demonstrated its potential as a kind of organic machine learning chip. AI still lags way behind the human brain in some important ways. For example, the brain happily learns and adapts all day long on an energy budget of about 20 watts, where a comparably powerful artificial neural network needs about 8 million watts to achieve anything like the same thing. What's more, the human brain's neuroplasticity, its ability to grow new nervous tissue and expand existing connective channels, has granted it an ability to learn from noisy, low quality data streams with minimal training and energy expenditure. What AI systems accomplish with brute force of massive energy, the brain achieves with effortless elegance. But brain cells can be created easily enough out of pluripotent stem cells in petri dishes, and they have a natural tendency to self-organize and differentiate themselves into useful structures like you'd find in a developing brain. Hence, we are now living in the era of the biocomputer, a cyborg-esque confusion of silicon and living tissue. This is a massive breakthrough. In September, we spoke to Cortical Labs, which stunned the world in 2022 by growing 800,000 odd brain cells onto a silicon substrate and teaching the resulting dish brain computer to play Pong, among other things. Now, Indiana University researchers have taken a slightly different approach by growing a brain organoid and mounting that on a silicon chip. By allowing the stem cells to self-organize into a 3D structure, the researchers hypothesized that the resulting organoid might be significantly smarter. So they grew themselves a little brain ball organoid less than a nanometer in diameter. Now this is something you can only see with an electron microscope. That's how tiny we're talking about. They mounted it on a high density multi-electrode array, a chip that's able to send electrical signals into the brain organoid, as well as reading electrical signals that come out due to neural activity. They called it brain aware. Then they started treating it like a neural machine learning chip. The researchers hooked the brain aware or organoid computer chip into a system, treating it as an adaptive living reservoir, made sure the mini brain was responding to electrical inputs and figured out how to feed in spatial data. Then they started some unsupervised learning tests. So these, this is unsupervised machine learning. They focused on two areas. Firstly, speech recognition. Remarkably, on day zero, the organoid was able to distinguish just from a single vowel sound, one vowel, which of eight different people were speaking Japanese at about 51% accuracy. Two days later, that had risen to 78%. They then moved to mathematics. In two days, it increased its mathematical computational accuracy of predicting where a given point would be from 36% to 81%. Check that out. To flex on Team Silicon, they also threw the same problem at some artificial neural networks, finding that the organoid notably outperformed the ANN without a long short-term memory unit and showed slightly lower accuracy than an ANN with this long short memory unit. Training times decreased by greater than 90% versus artificial, 90%. 
The team concluded that three-dimensional human brain organoids like this can definitely form functional neural networks and operate as a new class of machine learning hardware, while naturally addressing the time, energy consumption, and heat production challenges that face artificial machine learning chips. Stunning breakthrough. Stunning. There are limitations, though, as you might imagine when working with living tissue. Firstly, you have to find a way to grow them in mass and keep them alive and healthy. They also can be very different from one another, which raises the somewhat bizarre question of whether brain cells grown from neuroscientist stem cells might work better than ones taken from sexy red fan club members, whatever that is. The team also notes that while the organoid chips consume very little energy as they work, the life support systems do eat up some of the energy savings. This team really has no clear idea what to do about the ethics of creating micro brains out of human neurons and wiring them into living cyborg computers. So a couple of comments here. One is we haven't even scratched the surface of the future potential of AI. We're, we're, we're like rocks and sticks compared to cruise missiles. That's number one. Number two, we, we gotta have regulations bounding this stuff. This is already getting crazy. That, what I just read, is so far out there, it sounds like magic. It's so different from anything conceivable back in 2020 at the start of the pandemic. This is what has happened in our exponential world. In three short years, unbelievable breakthroughs. Fasten your seatbelts, folks. Thanks so much. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. I need your help. I can only do this with your help. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.